Hello everyone, I'm back after a long time with a fascinating video that I recorded just for you. I hope you will enjoy watching it from start to finish. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look. We start by writing a simple Python function to calculate the age of a person based on their year of birth. We'll call it calculate age, and it will take an argument, the year of birth. Next, I create a variable called current year and set it to 2023. Then I create another variable called age, which equals current year minus year of birth. Finally, I return age. Okay, now I simply say print, calculate age, set year of birth to 1999, and run the code. Oops, we got an error. It looks like current year is supposed to be an integer, but we wrote it as a string instead. Now, let's imagine that instead of getting the error, what if it threw why this error happened and the corrected version of the code? Yeah, today I came with an amazing Python package that will debug our code as we hope. So, let's see how to install that package and use it. To install, simply type pip install chat GPT underscore debugger as usual. Well, the installation was complete. Okay, first of all, we want to import a function from this package, so let's import it by typing. From chatgptdebugger.chatgptdebugger, import debug. This is the only function that we want to debug our code. Chatgptdebugger is not that hard to use. Just put the decorator debug above the function that we want to debug. Like this. That's all we need to do. And run the cell. Well, it will detect the error, here it will asking OpenAI's API key, because this package will using OpenAI API. So to get the API key, open the browser and type OpenAI Playground. Click on the first link, click on sign up button, and continue with Google. Okay, that's it for sign up. In this page, at the right corner, you can find your profile. Simply click on it. Here you can see the View API Keys button. Click on it, and it will redirect us to the API Keys page. At here, you will find a button to generate an API key by pressing it. And simply copy this API key and paste it into this prompt. That's it. This is all we have to do. All right, folks, hold tight. ChatGPT is on the case and working hard to solve the issue. It's going to take just a couple of seconds to generate the response. Can you believe it? Instead of facing a frustrating type error, we're going to see a message from the ChatGPT debugger. And this message is going to be lit. It's going to explain the error, show us how to fix it, and even give us the corrected code. That's right. ChatGPT is going to make it super easy for us to solve the problem and get back to what we do best. And that's a wrap for today's video, guys. I hope you found it informative and helpful. And don't forget... If you encounter any doubts or issues while using this package, just head over to the GitHub page and create a new issue. The link is in the description. I want to thank you for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to sharing another interesting video with you soon. So, until next time, take care and keep on coding.